Here's that giant bird of paradise right outside my uh, bedroom window. There's the tomahawk I was using last night. Yeah, and I'm about to tell you what's been going on with my sleep and why I haven't been getting a lot of sleep for the last week or so. <laughs> I just forget about it every morning when I wake up and I had to deal with it last night and I'm going to have to deal with it later today or something. Good morning. I apologize if I look a little bit more disheveled than normal. I have not been getting enough sleep and I haven't been getting enough sleep for about a week and there's a good reason for it. It's just that every morning, you know, I, I eventually fall asleep and when I get up in the morning, I got to get up and go and on top of not getting enough sleep, I've been physically working hard. I've been crawling around underneath this house. And uh, it's funny how it's leaned my body out. Like, I mean, you're burning calories nonstop for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's been a positive thing. <laughs> but the reason I haven't gotten any sleep is there is a, this giant bird of paradise. I think I'm starting the video with it. It's outside my bedroom window and I love it's been there since I moved into this apartment in February of 1992 and these flowers they're just beautiful and, and it's great because most of the year I'm, I'm awoken by hummingbirds there's usually a hummingbird there in the morning or a couple of them but then every year they die off and there's the dead flowers sitting there and I have to usually get over there and I can reach it right from my window and I'll usually cut the dead flowers away because uh, rats like to get up in there and I guess there's some sort of seed or something that they like to feed on <clears throat> excuse me and of course they only want to do it at like two or three o'clock in the morning so it wakes you up and I've been lazy about dealing with it and then on top of everything else uh, we've been getting great weather it's been nice and cool but then we had a couple days of heat again this time of year October I usually try not to be here from end of August through September because that's when it's usually hot. And then, you know, usually there's like a Santa Ana thing that happens in October, but it's up and down. And yesterday we had some heat and it was like high 90s and that always stinks, just made me miserable. And I don't, I don't sleep well when it's warm. So I was kind of up too late really on YouTube and I, I went to bed late. And then I'm later, I start to fall asleep and all of a sudden there's this rat, you know, in this tree. And it is literally maybe four feet from my head when you do the math. <sighs> so, and I couldn't take it. I had to deal with it. So here I am. I, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I, I don't turn my bedroom light on. I've got a little tactical flashlight that I keep in the drawer with other tactical things. <laughs> and shine a light trying to like deter it but it's not going anywhere so I, I gotta I pop the screen I put the light down on the ledge and I'm holding the screen I'm using it like a shield just in case this rat wants to jump at me or something and I'm like half asleep you know I'm just not thinking correct and I've got this tomahawk and I'm hacking at this rat you know and the and the dead flowers you know in the dark you know, with this little tactical light pointing up there and I'm using the screen just to defend myself. And I hear this, uh, the metal clips fall off the screen and I realize, crap, now I'm not gonna be able to get the screen to close back in place. So I put the tomahawk down. I spent another 10 minutes trying to wedge the screen in place enough so mosquitoes don't come in now and keep me awake all night. Oh my God. And then I eventually, then you can't fall back asleep right away, right? So eventually I fall asleep. And then before I wake up, I'm in this crazy vivid dream of I'm somewhere, I've traveled somewhere, I'm hanging out with people, and I can't find the van. The van is not where I parked it. The van has been stolen. <clears throat> and some of you might know that's happened to me before. It's not a good feeling. And there's all this anxiety. And I'm like, I have to contact the police. I'm like, and, and it's a dream, so there's not a lot of dreams aren't always logical. <laughs> if I need to tell you that so I'm like oh man I got to get on social media and let people know and you know this is uh, it's not not a lot of the event by the way when you do up a vehicle like this it is harder to steal it because it's easier to find 
if you just have a stock white Astro van, in particular the cargo vans, I was told by the police down in Long Beach, they're like the number one vehicle that's being stole, stolen. Uh, with this one, you could be like, hey, there's a four by four Astro van that blacked out windows and stickers and a high lift. Like that's an easy thing for cops to see right away. Anyhow, just all this anxiety of trying to get the van. And, and it's, I think that was kind of spurred on because I saw a post about insurance and I've been thinking about the insurance on this van. I have USAA and you know, they're not gonna, you know, there's the blue book on this is not a lot. But somebody mentioned Haggerty where you can insure it for whatever and I need to do that. Anyhow, you know, I woke up with all, this whole mindset of the van is gone and all this anxiety and you, know, you gotta look out the back window and make sure your van is still there. <laughs> You know, combat with a rat in the middle of the night, high anxiety waking up. I'm just not with it today, man. Not with it at all. I got to go over to AutoZone. I I ordered O2 sensors. I, I did throw a code after cleaning out that catalytic catalyst converters, and I'm pretty sure based on my uh, OBD2 reader that it's just the... Um, uh, it's probably just the O2 sensors and I was it's so crazy I had ordered O2 sensors from Rock Auto 30 minutes later I get in the van and it throws the P0420 code and I was supposed to leave tomorrow to drive up north but now that trip's been pushed a week <clears throat> so I but before I knew that I went to AutoZone and bought three new ones which they had to ship there so they're there now that they should be and I was just gonna put those in and then either send the Rock Auto AC Delcos back or keep them. But now I'm going over here because I don't need them. I'll drive it around like this. I cleared the code, it's running okay. And uh, I'll put the AC Delcos in when they get here. So I gotta go deal with that. But uh, yeah, I just figured, I thought some of you would get a chuckle out of this. It's just Los Angeles, rats, giant bird of paradise, combat at two o'clock in the morning with a tomahawk. It's insane, man. I got I to gotta cut those dead flowers away. I got to remember to get the clips for the screen so I can put all that back together later today. Uh, it's one of those things where I've been living alone since I was 14. So if you do the math, that's yeah, like 44 years or 46 years or something, living alone. And it's, it's uh, so it is hard to, I live alone, I work alone. So... I don't have anybody to remind me of anything. I have to remember everything. And there's only so much time in a day. You've got to get all this stuff done. And sometimes you just, some of this stuff just slips by. There's no one there to remind you. Be like, hey man, you know, you gotta, we gotta get this done or you gotta do that. So anyhow, that's what's going on. You know, you know I don't have a hair and makeup person, so I apologize for this. I do go the extra mile, try to remember to trim my nose hairs for you. Have a good day. Be good to one another.